Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design an open well staircase. Generally, open well staircase we uh, need where the height, floor to floor height is more than 3.5 meter. Right? Two landings are there, and this is the flight, and the, this is the first landing, and this is the second landing, and finally we reach the floor level. Right? So we have condition that the floor to floor height is 4 meter, that is 4000 mm. So we have given the tread size is 250 mm and riser is 150 mm. Having the support width, it can be a beam also, it can be a wall, 400 mm. Width of the each landing oblique flight, the flight or, or landing width we are taken as 1.5 meter, that is 1500 mm. And the live load on the staircase is 3 km per meter square and the floor finish is 0.3 km per meter square, right? So we are going to design this uh, open well staircase by this axial sheet. We will find the the load on the waist slab. This is the waist slab, and these are the steps. Next is the we will find the landing load, that is a per meter length load, and we will calculate the design calculation, that is the reactions, the reactions on this portion B and A, and then finally we will ca um, calculate the movement and the maximum bending movement. Where will the maximum bending movement? And for that uh, we will check for the depth, and the main reinforcement will be calculated against the maximum bending movement. Right. And then we will check for the shear check and the deflection check is there. And the third pattern, uh, uh, this portion that is the where the both two landings are there. This will be designed. Right. The same will be the first flight and the third flight will be the same for the design and the second flight will be different. So let's start. So we have given the data as 4000 mm floor to floor height. The tread is 250 mm. You need to see the difference in this actual sheet. How will this calculated? Right, 250 mm. Riser is 150 mm. Riser support width is 400 mm. Width of each landing is 1500 mm. Fy is 415 in our case, and Fck is 20 mm. Height of the first and third flight we need to choose. That if this is 4000 mm, uh, we have to we have to put that how much the height we will take in. So in our case, if we choose 1500 mm, that the first flight will be at 1500 mm, almost 5 feet. Third flight will also be in 1500 mm, it will achieve. The remaining height will be calculated by this, uh, these two landings, right? Are you getting this point? So the 1500 into twice, it will be achieved by the first and third flight. The remaining height will be achieved by the second flight, that is 1000 mm. So it will overall it will achieve 4000 mm, right? So number of rises and treads been calculated. Clear span between the first flight and the second flight has been calculated, right? So number of steps that is one and tenth step you will achieve at the first landing. Seventeen step you will be at second landing and twenty sixth step you will final at the first floor level, right? So if you change this to four five zero zero, then the total this has been changed right so 4000 mm is the floor to floor height so you need to see that at 4 meter we will achieve the first floor level right so next is the total waste slab load the waste slab is a maximum clear span in both our case 2.3.75 meter is the clear span is there 3.75 and 4.42 maximum of these divided by 25 as per the is code will be calculated the effective depth clear cable we are going to choose 20 mm and assume dia in 10 mm so finally the overall thickness has come 210 mm right so sulfate of the rcc waste slab this is the waste slab in the horizontal projection is given by this formula that is square root of r r is the riser and tread under root of r square plus t square into d to 1 into 25 is the RCC density, right? Divide by T, it will give the horizontal projection. So it has been calculated as 6.12. For the steps, these are the steps. The steps load in the horizontal projection is half base. Base is the riser into tread divided by T into 25 is and calculated as 1.875 is the load kilonewton per meter length. Total self weight is calculated as 8 live load in our case live load is 3 kN and floor finish is 0.3 so if we put 3 kN and is 0.3 so finally total low factor load on going is this is also called going the flight first going 
right that's this is the landing portion so load on the going is 16.95 and the landing load is been calculated we have calculated the overall thickness of the slab is 210 m so d into 1 into 2.525 is 5.25 kN per meter live load is same 3 and the flow finish is same so 12.83 is the kN per meter is the load so finally the factor load is 12.83 next is the design calculation you need to find the reactions at the support RA and RB so if you take a moment about B then the formula for RA is this one if you are taking the moment against B then this is RA into the distance this is the effective span so the important thing is to be noted that these are the clear span 1.5 and 2.25 and the support width is 400 mm so you need to take is 200 mm from this side so 2.5 plus 200 mm is 2.45 and the similar is 200 mm it will be added up in this side also so effective span is 4.15 for the design calculation right so RA is calculated as from this formula RA into whole distance 4.15 12.83 into 1.75 into the distance from the half portion right and the 16.95 into 2.45 into the distance right so r is calculated rb is total load minus this much rb is calculated now we have to find the shear force where the shear force is zero so if we take uh, x distance from the b where the shear force is zero then there will be the maximum value moment so you need to find this x so x is calculated as 1.99 and then finally the bending moment at the point x is calculated as 33.57 for which we need to find the AST. So check for the depth the maximum bending moment is this much and the coefficient for 415 is 0.138 and this is okay. D required is 110 mm and D provided is 177 in our case right. So this is the elevation okay we need to find the main reinforcement mu is calculated pt required is calculated from this formula 50 fck upon fy 1 minus square root mu one divided by fck bt square right so ast is been calculated if we going to choose 10 mm then it is 10 mm at the rate 130 mm center to center we need to provide this is the rule for spacing is there the distribution steel if we are choosing uh, the minimum steel for the distribution need to put so if you are choosing 8 mm then 8 mm 190 mm for the distribution the main steel will be at the bottom this red portion is the main steel 10 mm 130 mm center to center and distribution steel 8 mm 190 mm center to center development length this one this first one is the development length in our case this is m20 so we need to take 1.2 m that is 480 this much is 480 m so this portion we have designed the first flight and the landing and the similarly the second landing to the floor level this this flight will be the same now we need to design this a and c portion right so for this uh, finally the design has been calculated check for depth is calculated main reinforcement is distribution reinforcement is being calculated now the shear check we need to find the shear check the maximum shear force shear the reaction is 33 is the maximum we need to check for the shear is safe or not right so tavi is calculated v upon bd is calculated pt provided is 0.34 percent so we you need to find 0.34 is between 0.25 and 0.50 the interpolation will be there this is 0.40 and now this is safe in shear because tau c is greater than tavi right deflection check pt provided is 0.34 four percent already been calculated fs is already been calculated by this formula modification factor comes out 0.34 and 0.2242 2. this comes out to be 1.5 right from this chart we will say 1.5 this will calculated as ld provided is smaller than ld max right for simply supported slab 20 into modification factor of simply supported slab right now the second portion is A and C where the two landings are there you need to find this this landing and this landing load on the waste slab and the load on the landings has already been calculated right so the effective span is, is being calculated right this is 1.5.20 will be added up here and 0 0.20 will be added up here the effective span will be 4.82 so you need to find the reactions reactions will be equal 
because it is similar right similar load is there so reaction is being calculated by this formula and the mu is will be a maxim at the center right that is been calculated as 43 point this by this formula so finally check for the depth uh, 0.138 it is okay the required is less than the d provided for mu you need to go you need to decide the die of the steel we are going to choose the 10 mm so finally the spacing is 100 mm center to center for the main steel and if you are choosing the 8 mm so 8 mm 190 mm center to center for the distribution steel the same is the for the development length 1.2 480 is the development length this is ld right shear check is okay shape in shear and the deflection check is okay so friends this is the sheet for the design of the open well staircase it is very simple to use this sheet and to find the exact how much the you know, threads are going to be there number of steps how much the number of steps if you are changing these steps to 3 5 0 0 so if you are choosing this as 1200 m right so total steps will be changed right thread size will be changed as 300 mm so all the data will be changed and all the effective depth will be changed so RA reactions will be changed the main reinforcement spacing will be changed the shear check you need to find deflection check for the span A and C all the data will be changed accordingly so friends if you like this video if you want this actual sheet you need to contact me on my whatsapp number and and the link is in the description box is also available thanks for watching and keep watching and subscribe this channel for more design videos